as Japan struggles through its worst natural disaster on record. Donations, relief packages, and prayers are being sent from around the world. Despite being oceans apart, children in Canada and Malaysia donated their savings to Tsiji. Street soliciting campaigns also are taking place in the Dominican Republic and St. Martin. But first, let's take a look at a stationery factory in Myanmar, where employees rush to finish their work early to learn about what they can do to help Japan. Hundreds of staff in the stationery factory in Myanmar are getting off work three hours early in order to participate in an event aimed at helping Japanese great victims. Some employees don't have TVs at home, so they can only learn about what is happening through us. Siji did a great job putting together a film for them to watch. Hopefully, when they see it, it will inspire them to goodness. Real life stories of the Japanese tsunami are told to students here at the Siji Dai Educare Center in Malaysia. In a tsunami like this, humans are like ants. When the big water hits us, are we able to escape? With big costs, children make donations using their own cherished savings. Meanwhile, children in the Ziji Academy of Humanistic Studies in Toronto are also doing their part. We need to help people, right? They don't have any food to eat or place to stay. They're not as fortunate as us. Ziji's Toronto branch is inviting residents from local communities to hold a charity sale. Today, the venue is sponsored by a shopping center website. Young and old alike are also taken to the streets to solicit money for Japan's quake victims. A fundraising campaign is taking place in the supermarket in St. Martin. In the Dominican Republic, donations are also pouring in. Knowing the amount they give, pulled together may make a difference in someone's life. Donators find themselves spiritually enriched by helping a meaningful cause.